Welcome to the Learn Flute Podcast, Episode 3. You can do it, and Rebecca will show you how, step by step, all along the way. Introducing the, the Learn, Learn Flute, Flute Podcast. Podcast. Well, hi, and welcome back here for episode three of the Learn Flute Podcast. My name is Rebecca Fuller, and this is where you find answers to your flute lesson questions. Now, on my website, Learn Flute Online, I have literally hundreds and hundreds of video tutorials that walk you through how to play the flute step by step. I have a pretty good system and there are loads of busy bee flute learners in there every single day getting it done and loving it. Well today on this episode I'm going to be giving answers to one of the most common questions I get from beginner flute students. Why do my fingers feel so slow and uncoordinated? When a person first decides to learn to play the flute, they oftentimes have been listening to someone else who's already been riding that learning curve road of playing flute for quite some time. So, it's easy to get the perception that it's going to be as simple as the music sounds. Now, when they actually get started, they find out that there are a few surprises along the way. And the first thing people usually notice is that holding on to the flute feels crazy uncoordinated until you get some skills. Now, in the online video lessons I teach, I show you how to combat this awkward feeling and get your hands in the right position so they feel much more natural. Now, this is one place where it definitely helps to have an experienced teacher in your pocket. Now, I always tell new students that all instruments are definitely not created equally. So let's take um, the piano, for example. There are thousands upon thousands if not millions, of piano students on this planet. And there are several reasons for that. One being that the very first day a person can walk up to a piano, they are able to reach out, poke a key, and make a perfectly clear tone with no prior knowledge at all. But if that same person were to open a flute case with intentions of learning right then and there on the first day, they wouldn't even get past how to put it together with, without a lot of troubles, let alone figuring out how to make a tone on it. Now that being said, the piano uses one finger per note, and you have ten fingers. So even though you have a lot of early success on the piano, it will then complicate itself later when you have to start reading and playing chords with many notes at one time, etc., etc. Whereas the flute uses all ten fingers to create combinations for each note, we stay always with a single note, always, because we only have one mouth. So the reading of the music is definitely a lot easier. We just have to get ourselves skilled and learn a few things before we can be super successful. So anyway, back to the important question we're discussing today. Why do my fingers feel so slow and clumsy? Well, it's actually an easy one to answer because you have to actually teach your fingers to move one at a time before it will feel easier. So, if you think about this, if you've seen a baby or a really small child coloring in a coloring book, they basically have the crayon folded around uh, inside all, all of their fingers because babies spend their first few months and years grabbing with all of their fingers. And it's not really until a later age when they can start picking things up with just a couple of fingers. And that's why we don't teach writing with a pencil until a later age. So one exercise I can give you for this week is to practice using all of your fingers one at a time in different ways. So Get a bowl and fill it with marbles or something like that. Cheerios, um, you could use raisins, whatever it takes. Take some time every single day to empty that bowl while using your thumb and one of your other fingers. And make sure you alternate hands. Now this is a really good start to creating the brain pathways that you need for this type of coordination. Now another exercise that's on the next level up for you is to use your lap or your desktop to practice lifting one finger at a time. Now this sounds really easy, but I'll assure you it's really not. You'll undoubtedly have some troubles with some of your more uncoordinated fingers. So be sure and keep your palm down. 
and your hand relaxed so that your fingers are slightly curved right on top of the table or your lap or whatever you're using. Then keeping all of your fingers just down, practice lifting just one finger up and then relax it back down. Move through all of your fingers on your left hand and your right hand and then try some combinations. Try two fingers at a time, try three fingers at a time, and you can also try playing some games with yourself like, can I lift both of my thumbs at the same time? Or can I lift my pinkies and my thumbs at the same time? What about my index fingers? How about an index finger and a pinky or a thumb? Now you can get as complicated as you want, but don't get frustrated here. It sounds super easy, but it's not. And I think you'll find it a challenge, but if you do this regularly, you're going to become more and more fluent at the art of finger lifting, pushing, and relaxing, which is what you need to learn how to play the flute well and to have fluent filling fingers that are not clumsy. Well, there's your big tip for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's for you and your learning. Now, I want to help you with your goal of becoming a great flute player. And remember, if you haven't already come over to the learnfluteonline.com website and gotten yourself signed up for the email list and some free lessons to get you started, it's time to do so. You won't be sorry. See you next time. Thanks for listening today. Remember that this is where people of all ages, such as you, can come, learn, and play the musical instrument flute in an easy-to-follow organized manner and in the privacy and comfort of your own home on your own schedule.